much. Also, just being able to kind of take over there with uh, about three minutes left when you guys were down seven, just what was it about tonight that let you take over a little bit there late? Um, just, I know Coach Ford just kept telling us to keep pushing. Like, this game means a lot. All these games down the stretch right here in February mean a lot. And we got to, you know, keep staying together and keep pushing them out and keep getting wins. So I just was trying to keep my head down, keep working, and did my best to try to get the win. And you're able to get that. You're able to clamp down in overtime. You're able to um, you're, you're able to blow them out really in overtime. Just what was it after holding them to missing the game, missing a game-winning shot that let you guys rally there in over in OT? I think we came out very sluggish on defense, especially just just came out with just a lack of energy. And I think a lot of guys knew how much it would hurt if we lost this game because you know we want to we want to win. And so I think. Like, going down the stretch, getting those stops just, like, sparked the energy in us to keep getting more stops and keep pushing. And towards the end, we ended up getting that stop. Alston, can you talk about your evolution as a player this season? Mm -hmm. What's been the key the last few games? Um, trust. Uh, buying into the process that Coach Ford talking about. Um, being able to trust my teammates. Trusting myself. Uh, just a lot of confidence from a lot of players around me, a lot of the coaches around me. And it's just giving me an opportunity that, you know, I'm thankful for. And, and God, too. I want to thank God, too, for sure. Austin, obviously you transferred over here from Oklahoma, and there were some times where you didn't get quite the minutes that you wanted, and you really rebounded. When you weren't getting the minutes that you wanted, what were some of the things that you worked on to get to this point? Um, a lot of film, you know. There's a lot of great guards in the Big 12, a lot of players that I played against that I learned from, so I was really studying a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't know, and I was taking in so much stuff, just seeing so many good players play, so many reads being made, and I think that kind of helped me just learn a lot more about the game, even if I wasn't playing. So I did a lot of studying, a lot of working on my game by myself, and then I think it's obviously helped, but I just, you know, this isn't a, a congratulations, this is a step to keep going forward and keep getting better. Jonathan, you had that big block shot there at the end of regulation. Now you, you guys and Cricket are battling all game long down the stretch. Talk to me about that battle inside and why it was so much fun and why it feels even more fun to get that victory. Uh, credit to Cricket. You know, he's a great player. Uh, you know, he, we were pushing each other. Uh, like you said, we was going back and forth. So, uh, you know, I feel like it was a great challenge. You know, he averages 20. So, you know, uh, Donnie stepped out. So, you know, I just, you know, step up to the challenge, you know, to, uh, just try to, you know, face the challenge. And then, you know, like you said, uh, just keep battling, you know, and we got the win. All right, this was a win that, I believe, what, two games ago, that last Saturday, Coach Ford said, you know, that game that you guys lost, he said y'all got out toughed. Tonight, y'all easily could have folded again. Instead, y'all battled and y'all won this game in overtime. What does this do for this team's confidence, especially going forward to your next game? Uh, like you said, you know, Coach talks about toughness a lot. He writes it on the board after, uh, before every game. Uh, the tougher team always wins. So, you know, I feel like that is a strong thing for us. Like, we got to take passion, uh, passion for that. And then whoever's the tougher team, you know, like he says, you know, wins the game. So I feel like, you know, if they throw the first punch, I feel like we just always have that urge to fight back and, you know, just stay on top. What about for you? In the points in the paint, there was a – uh, Valpo was kind of beating you guys up there early on, but you guys were able to even that out throughout the rest of the game. Just what did you see working there to where uh, you're getting some points and some others are getting in there as well? Uh, points in the paint, uh, I feel like we just had to have more hands activity, uh, you know, down the stretch. You know, early in the game, I feel like, you know, like Austin said, we was a little lat lazadaisical, you know. Uh, I feel like if we put our hands up, you know, be active, uh, points, won't, uh, the ball won't really get down there to down low. So if we stop that, uh, and, you know, we stop a lot of teams from scoring a lot of points. Jonathan, how much urgency does the team feel now that it's February? Uh, a lot, a lot. Uh, coach, you know, prays on that every day in practice. You know, last couple games coming up, so, you know, we got to fight every game. Every game's important. So, you know, we just got to take urgency after every game. Also, there are a few times throughout the season where you guys have hit kind of cold streaks offensively during games. Sometimes you don't overcome them. Today you guys go on a, on a couple, especially in that one late where you guys get down seven. What is it about you guys that you don't quit and, um, and be able to bounce back from that when things aren't looking as good right there? I think it's February, and I think you know Coach Ford's been preaching the urgency and how much these games mean to us. And I think a lot of guys are realizing that you know this. 
these are the final stretches, and if we want to get to where we want to get to, we got to really buy in, lock down, and keep working. And I think a lot of guys are starting to buy in and starting to become an urgent to try to get these wins instead of folding under pressure or end up losing those games that we really should have won. Both teams, both teams only hit a couple three-pointers in this game late in the game, but Austin, you hit a couple big late, right? You guys were 7 of, what, 21, and they were 6 of 29, but those threes you guys hit were huge at those crucial times. Why, even though you guys might not be shooting so well on one night, why do you still want to go back and keep attacking, keep attacking? Um, you know, just preaching confidence, just having confidence in my shooters, confidence in myself. We know we can hit those shots. We practice them all the time. It's just we just got to stay in it, shoot our shot, and stay with it. I think sometimes we just we see a miss and, you know, get our head down like, dang, we should have made that. But if we just keep staying with it, keep shooting our shots the same way that we know we can shoot it, I think we start hitting a lot more. Yeah, let's go. Uh, 45 minutes. Is, are you tired or is that a player's dream to play 45 minutes? You know, it's a mixture of both. I am tired, but... You know, I, I know Coach Ford told me I had to step up today, and I was ready. I am tired a little bit, but 45 minutes, whatever I got to do to get the win. I'm just here to try to get the win any way possible. If I got to play 50 minutes, if I got to play two minutes, I'm just trying to get the win. Jonathan, can you kind of talk about the, the low game? Uh, you play a lot of the high post, setting those back screens, working how the defense plays, I and mean, you're rolling a lot getting open and you're even, you know, passing it back out. Can you just talk about that play and that relationship with the guards? Uh, you know, with the guards, you know, it's it's a tr it's a trust relationship, you know. Uh, I trust my guards, you know, they trust me. Uh, me and Austin, you know, had it going, you know, in the first uh, couple minutes of the game. And, then, you know, you know, like you said, we had a stretch. We weren't really scoring. And, you know, we just talked to each other, kept, go kept going at it, and then just slowed down. And just, it was working. It was working. Anything else with players? Plus, plus. Yep. Jonathan, you know, you look at their record right before y'all played tonight. You guys were 11-11. They were 10 and 13. But this was a dog fight the whole way. Why is it the month of February that that raises urgency, or what is it about playing anybody in the valley any day, any time that makes all these games competitive? Uh, yeah, uh, it's. I feel like college basketball, just in general. Uh, Anybody can win, so uh, everyone has to have that urge on their on their back. You know that little chip on their back. As soon as the game starts, you got to go 100%. Uh, tough, aggressive, uh, play the whole game. So whoever just does that the most and you know plays together wins the game.